Geralt, wake up! Open your eyes! Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. <sighs> Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me! Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him. His mind. His intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar plum. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me. This Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet, after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, alright. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. 
But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> 